Ooh, exciting times ahead. All right, let's. Eh, come on, there you go. <laughs> you gotta hear the whole jingle to the full, of course. <laughs> May I just say I am very excited for this. Nintendo, okay. Dolby. Intelligent systems, of course. Yeah, that's their logo. That's kind of cool. We're we getting any cutscene of sorts. Okay. I suppose we'll watch this. Giant castle. A bird. Okay. Oh my god, there's cats in this game. Oh, I hope there's petable cats in this game. Princess, maybe? Hmm. Oh, a fallen angel, sort of? Or is it a statue? No, no, it's, it's a person that's- or an angel of sorts. Oh, I see, and then some sort of lord with a dragon in the back. Interesting setup, okay. He's watching over. Oh, what's that? Uh, Ike, of course, yep. <laughs> Everyone's revolting, okay. Cool, oh, I've got some gameplay. The graphics look really good. I didn't- Okay. Ike is very blue. I was expecting him to be more red, but uh, anyways, here we are. <laughs> the time we've all been waiting for, the time I have been waiting for. Oh, okay. I thought the title was going to drop there, never mind. <laughs> um, but it's really cool that they got the full, like, anime cutscenes in this game, from what I can tell. Oh, I already see an archer that I might actually end up falling in love with. <laughs> Look at him, he's just a cinnamon bun. And then I- okay. Cool. Here we are. With Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, or Soen no Kiseki. Is it gonna go to the- okay, thank you. Um, I'm gonna press start just so it doesn't play any demo movies or anything. A lot to talk about. First of all, um, yes, this is Soen no Kiseki, not Path of Radiance. It's the same game, it's a Japanese version. Um, can I just add, very interesting, the Japanese title's translation is, um, Miracle of the Blue Flame. So, that, that title kind of goes a little bit harder, I think, at least in my eyes. Um, but let me know which title you prefer down below. Yep, first and foremost, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. I am playing the Japanese, uh, version on official hardware. <laughs> this is a Wii, I'm using a GameCube controller, and that's what we'll be doing. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was trying to get the English version to work. Um, well, I, my Wii, uh, this one is the Japanese Wii that I homebrewed, but, um, yeah, the, the ISO wasn't working. The, it's really weird with the Japanese one with, um, region unlocking. Some games will work and other games won't. I don't know if all GameCube games just are a bit iffy like that in, in the Japanese version, but I couldn't get it to work basically, and I didn't want to play it on Dolphin either, um, because I know it wouldn't have run, um, smoothly at all. So this is what I'll be doing. Uh, if you're new, uh, here, then thank you so much for joining. Um, I am Tatsunami, of course. I will be playing through Path of Radiance. I've never played this game in my life. Um, in fact, I am incredibly blind to this game. I only know Ike, of course, and I know there's a character called Black Knight, but that's literally it. So uh, maybe there's some character designs I've seen in passing, but that's about it. I couldn't name an, a single other um, character's name <laughs> off the top of my head. So that's kind of the level of blindness I'm at. Uh, of course, I am completely fluent in Japanese. So much like my other series, like Hoshinangi, for instance, I will be translating on the spot. Um, and if there are animated cutscenes, then I'll put English subtitles in the bottom. Um, so for any of you guys who have already played Path of Radiance, who love Path of Radiance, well, you can enjoy, uh, all the voice acting in the Japanese, <laughs> um, with the English subtitles, of course, you know, switch it up a bit. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. I guess, yeah, I, I thought I was going to have much more else to say, but, uh, not too much. Uh, I was lucky enough to find this game or this copy of this game for about $60, um, on like an online shopping, sort of like Japanese eBay, and uh, it was in really good condition. I've seen cheaper prices of this game, but a lot of the times it doesn't come with a slip cover, or you know, there was just um, the manual mis was missing, that sort of thing. And I was like, if I'm gonna pay like around fifty, sixty dollars, I might as well get like the you know, like a proper version. But okay, we need. Um, I have not checked if I have enough memory card storage. I do have GameCube memory cards. I got two of them plugged in, but hopefully it's enough. If not, then I'll see you guys in a sec, but it seems to be okay, <laughs> I think. Here we go, okay. Fantastic, this is really intriguing to me, because I've never... Okay, so I need to mention that Ike was definitely my the first character 
of Fire Emblem that I came in contact with, of course, because I played Smash Brothers Brawl growing up, and I thought he was a cool one of the coolest characters ever. He had like a flame sword and everything. Um, but yeah, like I never got around to playing this, and I never watched playthroughs or anything like that. So in a way, I, f- I do feel like I'm finally making um, or like finally getting around to it. You know, it's like I'm finally um, trying to figure out what Ike's character is like because I've seen him since I was like six or seven or whatever it was when Brawl came out. Um, so very, very excited, and I would like to see their first attempt at a 3D Fire Emblem game, because, uh, you know, that, that would be the case here. I wonder if the story's much longer, I'm guessing, because it's a full, um, you know, home console release compared to, like, a handheld release. It might be a, a bit longer than, uh, the GBA stuff. I'm more than happy to do that. This will be the only, um, well, actually, I don't know, but, um, yeah, this will be, like, the main Fire Emblem series I'll be, you know, doing going forward. Uh, I'll be uploading three times a week, so, yeah. Keep that in mind. Anyways, let's jump into a new game. Okay. Five save datas. Okay. I'll go to the top one. Normal, hard, and maniac. Okay. Um, I'll just go normal, <laughs> I think. Um, okay, so the normal, it says if you're a, a beginner to um, simulation games or Fire Emblem, then you can choose that one. Hard is if you've played Fire Emblem before in the past. It's uh, a rather normal um difficulty compared to the other. Maybe I should play hard. Do you, would you guys prefer me to do that? And then Maniac, I'm, of course, I'm not going to do that. Um, I can't. One second. I'm going to ask if I follow Discord. One second. <laughs> okay, I've gotten confirmation. Let's jump into hard mode. Um, the people think I can do hard mode. I don't even trust myself, but let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Um, of course, I'll be playing with the no reset rules in mind. Okay. Let's, you know, let's watch anime together. <laughs> Alright, I is training, I guess. Oh, okay. Hmm. He's got a cool voice. I like this a lot, the animation style. Oh. Oh. They're all related then. I got a sister, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was cheap. <laughs> okay. Yep, of course, every anime has to have the Oni chan, of course. <laughs> okay. Oh. Is this a flashback or a flash forward? Oh, that must be his mum. So maybe it's a flashback to when she was still alive or something? Yeah. It's, oh, it's a leaf. <laughs> okay. It's very, very atmospherical, but very bright as well. I really dig this art style. What's her name? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I see. So he sees the overlap in his sister with his mom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. A bit strange that Ike has the blue hair and then, what, his dad has the blonde hair, I think, and his sister also has the blonde hair? Not sure how that works, but uh, I'm digging it. Okay. Oh, uh, are you okay? It's mist. Okay. Oh yeah, one other thing I have to mention before um, we keep going forward, and I'll mention this uh, in most of the videos, I think, going forward. Um, I do know Fire Emblem localization does things, like when they switch over names and stuff sometimes. Um, I, uh, like I said, I am completely blind to this. Meaning that I'm only going to be able to see the Japanese name in front of me. So I might refer to a character or a unit going forward that... Um, in a completely different name to what you're used to. So just please keep that in mind, and if you do notice anything like that, just let me know down below in the comments. Um, I am recording a whole bunch in advance, so I might not be able to um, br bring that feedback into my videos, if that makes sense. But uh, I would love to know, just in terms of the trivia. So uh, we have Mist here, okay? Uh, I guess kind of like Misty, sort of. Also, really like how they've um, done the eyes as well, how the eyes um, blink. Kind of like the GBA games, but it's more smoother. Okay, are you okay? Yeah, okay, there's Ike, <laughs> his little portrait. Is, is it just a, a tradition that the men need to wear capes in this family, or... 
Oh, so you're up now. Alright, it's Grail, I guess. Hey, you did- you, you went too far, Dad. Um, even though those are only training weapons, you, ca you can't just attack him, like, full on like that. Well, if he's, uh, whinging about this sort of level of fighting, then he's not gonna make it as a- as a warrior, as a soldier. Yeah, still. Miss time, fine. Okay. Music's very grand, I like it. It's kind of reminding me of, like, Tales of Symphonia a little bit, in terms of, like, the UI and, um, stuff like that. Although that one's more cartoony, but still. It was kind of the same generation as this game, wasn't it? Like, the early 2000s? Uh, I mean, that's my son. Alright, um, bring it on. Okay, I guess it training again. Wait, you're still going? Alright, I need to, uh, land one hit, that's all. Um, I- I'm not gonna give up until I land that one hit on my dad. That's what I like to hear. Um, but if you keep it up in the- the same way you're going, hmm? Okay, I guess I noticed something. Oh. Oh, it's... Bole, I guess? Um, alright. Now oh, they're going at it. I guess that might be his friend or something. Oh, Bole, what's up? What's going on? Uh, nothing much. I was calling out- uh, I was- I was looking for the chief, uh, because you weren't coming back. Um, I- I got told that because he was the, you know, like, the sub-leader, he was told to go look for them. Is the leader of this mercenary group, is that his dad? Is that kind of what he's referring to? I'm not sure. Alright. Oh, I see, no worries then. Oh, okay, yeah, so I- yeah, I guess the dad is the- the leader, of course. Um, I wanted to- well, I wanted to come here to laugh at Ike's pitiful, um, form taking on the le uh, the leader, but it seems like he's doing alright. Ah, uh, this is lame. Okay. I'm well, sorry for being good, <laughs> I guess. Alright. You're a little bit late. I mean, he was on the ground, uh, knocked out up until before. Missed. <laughs> sorry. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna be playable or is she just a side character? Well, you came at the right time. Bole, you, uh, fight Ike for me, please. Huh? Wait, you want me to fight him? It'll be better for him if, uh, he fights or he spars with someone on the same level, or near the same level. Alright then. Bole, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> well, I'm not a huge fan of being told that I'm the same level as you, but fine, I'll be your enemy. Or your opponent, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's like a grid system, but it's 3D. Interesting, okay. Well, you can come at me from wherever you want. Um, yeah, just come at me, I guess. Alright. Interesting. Status, hold on. I- it's gonna take a while for me to get used to it. Jok your situation? What does this do? Oh, okay. Oh, this is the- like, here's how many turns are plus. Here's the money. Okay. Um... Mikodo. Okay, so that would- oh, yeah, I see. So X switches back to who hasn't moved. That's interesting. And Y is the stats. Okay. I- he's a ranger. Okay. Level 1, 19 HP, 6 move, 9 constitution. He has the trainee's sword. 5 in strength, 1 in ma- Magic? Huh. Magic and strength are split in this game? That's really interesting. Uh, 6 in skill, 7 in speed, 6 luck, 5 defense, 0 in, uh, what is it again? Resistance, of course. And then you got all the, um, total stats in the bottom. And... There's t build and type? I don't entirely know what that is. Oh, he does have, like, a skill. What is- does it tell me what that does if I put the cursor? No, it doesn't tell me. Hmm, okay. Not too sure. And the weapon rank is D. Biorhythm? <laughs> what is that? He also interestingly has an attribute, which is Earth. Oh, oh, that must be the, um, uh, the, the support, um, the support element or whatever, right? Oh, I see. I didn't know there was an Earth. Okay, interesting. Alright, well, I guess we'll just jump into things. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna tell me- no, I guess because it's hard mode, it might not actually tell me all the intricacies. I suppose- oh, actually, yeah, let's take a look at him first. Uh, sorry, wrong button. Yeah, again, this is gonna take a while because I'm not used to it, but... Alright, Borle, he has the trainee's axe. Okay, um, decent stats, I suppose. And he's got D and X rank. He's got fire. Alright, well, I guess we can just... We could probably take a look at how much damage we're doing, right? <laughs> look at him run! Tackle? What does tackle do? Is this Pokemon? Um, okay, so, for the time being, I guess I'll go attack. I'm not gonna mess around him. Oh, that is so handy. Thank you, Path of Radiance. It shows dumb people like me that weapon triangle. I appreciate that. Okay, um, is it gonna tell me... Oh, wait, is it? Oh yeah, it is telling me, like, in the Game Boy games, isn't it? So... Uh, although I can't take... Oh wait, no, here's... Hey, no, sorry, it's... I don't know why I'm <laughs> taking time looking at this. Okay, so I'm doing 9 to him, and he's got 18 HP. He'll do 8 back. So... If he hits me next turn as well, we should be fine. Okay, let's go for it. 
Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is a battle thing. Good luck, you can just uh, defeat Bowley, he's nothing. <laughs> hey, you can't say um, nothing like that, you know? <laughs> Don't say I'm trash, you know? Yeah, okay. Very impressive animations, I'm already digging this. I'm sure I'm gonna get bored of the animations by like, you know, 20 chapters in, but still. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Alright, if you say so. If you double it, we're dead, but I think we're fine. I, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Okay, cool. I just killed my friend. Uh, it's just training weapons. Nice, okay. Some EXP going on. Cool. Alright. Alright. Ah, you're not bad yourself. Bully, you're so lame. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Bully, you did well. Um, you can rest up now. Oh yeah, sure, okay. It's like, oh yes sir, or something. I guess because, yeah, he's looking up to him, right? He's, he's like the... Um, one of the mercenary troops or whatever. Even though Bole was letting his guard down, uh, your movements there were rather good. You should uh, remember that for next time. Alright, I'll do my best. Okay, I'm gonna be your next enemy now. That's exactly how I'd like it. But before that, missed. Okay. Yep. Oh, she's a healer, maybe. Okay. Here you go. Um, oh, here's some Volanaries. Okay, we got some... Oh, there's some of the very modern sounding sound effects, like some you'd hear in the 3DS era. Use it before you fight, uh, Dad. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. Am I allowed to do that? I don't... Oh, it, it, okay, I see, what, I see what they're saying. Okay, interesting. It actually also shows the, um, a void, or like what type of terrain it is as well, on the, uh, the top left. Okay. Wait, what's a map menu? Oh, I see. This is like if you want a quick save or something like that. Or take a look at your army. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Alright, um, what is your danger zone? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> In that case, I'll go into the tree, and I'll heal up real quick, okay. Let's just do that. Not full, but uh, he might start approaching. Alright, even if it's a small wound, uh, heal up when you can. So that you never run into a situation where you feel like, oh, you know, where you missed your opportunity, I guess, okay. I guess he's not gonna move. Um, I could heal him up again. I don't know how much he's doing to me, but he might not be moving. I'm gonna- is this a tree tile? No, it's not. I'm just gonna have to go in then. <laughs> if he attacks, he attacks. It's fine. Okay. It's probably not, though. I'm guessing. Like, oh, I'm gonna start moving too. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> and he, he just doubles. He just crits, you know? Alright, do your best. You know, give it everything you got. Okay. We're gonna have to heal, I think. Probably heal and wait is kind of the best opportunity here. Well, not opportunity, but best thing. Oh, you seem like you're not as bad as I expected. Okay. Ah, okay. Play phase. Alright, um... So, I just want to check. I'm probably gonna die if I... Oh, sorry, the thumbstick's a little bit sensitive, so... Um... Yeah, he will die, so... What I'll do instead is I'll wait here and let's heal up. Yep. Okay. Go for the heal. Okay, I, I guess because Volunaries are only 10 HP, so it's not max, but hey, at least it's something. Right. Go for it. Ooh, okay. Sure. We'll be able to finish him off next turn. Cool. And we'll be able to level up. I guess they've planned it so that you level up uh, after beating these two enemies. So, not enemies, but, you know, after these two uh, practice matches, I guess. Go for it. Bang. Okay. Cool. I just realized that is uh, Ike's one of his melee moves in Smash Brothers Brawl, isn't it? When he does like the downwards slash. I just noticed that. Anyways, okay. Hmm. Okay. I guess he's defeated for now. <laughs> he he got into his knees for his son. Really? Okay. <laughs> I guess it really um he really felt that one hit, didn't he? Okay. Level up. Let's take a look. Our first level up in the entire series. Three ping. Okay. Six in strength. One in resistance. Cool. I really like the, um, the drawings, uh, or the sprites, I guess you could call them. Brother, you were so cool. Okay. Dad, you weren't giving it all, your all, were you? Oh wait, you weren't? <laughs> I'm, surpri I'm surprised you noticed that, but because you noticed, it means that you've grown. Okay. He just got pushed by, I guess. Yeah, these art, these art pieces are gorgeous. I love them. I'm definitely going to be using all of them in my thumbnails, I think. Actually, yeah, I wasn't uh, giving it my all either. No, that's a lie. <laughs> ah, okay. Are you gonna finally see me uh, as someone that can fight properly? Uh, you're talking about um, being a, a real mercenary. Mercenary, sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, even Borley's out on the battlefield. I feel like I should be able to, um, stop being a, you know, like a disciple or a trainee for once. Unlike you, I can actually pack a punch. Okay. <laughs> even though you just lost just then. That was a fluke. A fluke. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I suppose that's fine. Um, you can join the mercenary squad from tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes, but if you uh, think that at any point that it's too much for you, you're going back to training, um, but do your best. He's a very supportive father. Yeah, it'll be alright. I'm sure I'll be able to catch up to everyone else. Well, we'll see about that. Well, let's return to our castle. Everyone's waiting for us. Or Toride? I don't know. It could be like a, like a ruins or something. Okay, that's it for the prologue. I'm not going to end it off just here. Um, I might... There might be a bit of a cut here. Um, just for audio testing and stuff, but we'll, we'll keep playing. I'm not going to end the episode off here. Okay, apologies for the cut. Let us jump back in. Um, should I be using the other datas? No, we're not going to reset. Although, I actually might, just in case I need to re-record something at some point. If there's a corruption or something. Clear. Okay, cool. Chapter 1 time, I guess. This is very pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, first... I don't know, like, first fight or something. First flight. <laughs> something like that. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is the... Oh, I, I wasn't even looking. It was. It's like the, the, you know, the hideout of the, the mercenary squad, I guess. Okay. I've seen you before. Tiamat. Okay. I think her name might be Titania or something in the English one. But I'm not sure. So, Tia, yeah, Tiamat, I guess. Uh, good morning, Ike. Uh, you're one of us uh, from today. Yeah, I guess so. Th uh, you know, thanks for having me on. Okay. You're late. Everyone else is already out there preparing. Sorry, I'll uh, do my best next time. So, what should I? What am I assigned today? Um, Tiamat is still uh, halfway through uh, her report. Just, just wait there. All right. Okay. Um, well, uh, Chief Grail. Uh, I'm talking uh, about the previous topic that we were talking about. Okay. Oh, you mentioned something about the, um, the, the mountain bandits, right? Yes, it was a, a request from a nearby village. Uh, from what I've, uh, understood, uh, they're not particularly powerful. So for now, I am thinking that, uh, me, Oscar, and Borle, um, Kyodai, so siblings, so maybe Oscar and Borle are, uh, two brothers or something? Um, yeah, so, like, us three, we're gonna go down there to fight. Alright, then, uh, take Ike with you as well. In terms of the previous request, I will, uh, me, Sinon, and Gatri, I guess, or Gatri, uh, will be the ones to clean that up. Okay, so I guess they, they're getting, like, a whole bunch of different requests from people around them to, like, to be, like, you know, save our village sort of thing, right? Uh, and they're getting money from that, I suppose. Interesting, we haven't really had a mercenary group as a protagonist. Uh, a lot of the times it's just like, I'm a lord, I'm, you know... I am the son of the king of, you know, this country sort of thing. But I guess it's not really that situation, so that's really interesting. I like that already. So, all right, Tiamat, um, I will leave Ike in your hands. Uh, train him up from the basics. Uh, understood. Okay. All right, Ike, we shall be leaving very shortly. All right, this is my first mission. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, wait, I've seen you somewhere. Oscar, I guess, is the green cavalier. Uh, Tiamat, um, with Gubucho, so that's like, uh, what is that again? Sub chief or whatever. Uh, I, we've finished our preparations. Yes, I appreciate that. Um, you're just as prepared as ever, Oscar. Okay, so I guess he's the very, uh, proper one. Yeah, I've, I'm prepared with everything too. Oh, boy. Well, uh, that's, um, quite rare for you to be, um, prepared, I guess. Yeah, well, sometimes I do, I do the right thing, I guess. After all, I do have a, um, well, like, I am the senior today, right, Ike? So, I guess he's kind of like, I, I have someone under under me today. Uh, I guess you do. <laughs> okay, I, I'm guessing Ike and Bole kind of have, like, a sibling kind of situation going on, right? So, he doesn't really treat him with a ton of respect, but, you know, like, he, he cares for him, obviously. Like, Ike cares for Bole, but, okay. This is gonna be your first battle, Ike. Are you nervous? Well, to be fair, uh, I was much more nervous last night. Right now, I'm quite calm, actually. Well, you should drop your shoulders down a bit. After all, we are with you. Yes, you're right. Okay. Alright then, let us get a move on. I guess she's like a great paladin or a great knight or something like that. 
Um, I'm guessing there will be a lot of new classes that are new to this game, obviously, that we haven't seen in the Game Boy Advance stuff. But of course, we're all going to start with uh, some, uh, what is that, some axe units to, to start off with. This is uh, Kalua Village. Um, it doesn't look like there's a, a bunch of enemies, but we can't let our guard down. Okay. Uh, up, up north is a... Is that a town? I think that's a town hall, yeah. Up north is a town hall. Uh, let's defeat the boss, uh, or the, you know, the leader of the enemy, and uh, seize that building back. Interesting, okay. And I guess, um, I guess in a way it was good that I did hard mode, because I'm guessing in easy mode it would hold your hand throughout all the tutorials, right? So, Alright, Ike, listen up. This is a fair, wear of, uh, fair uh, word of warning, yeah, from your senpai, I guess, your, your upperclassman, okay? Don't ever jump into battle by yourself. You would definitely, um, you know, end up in a, a bad situation. Yeah, I guess that's true. Ike, you don't need to do too much. After all, you can just rely on us when you think it's a little bit too dangerous. Just take a look at the enemy's movements, and you can just uh, watch us and learn from that. Alright, thank you. Oscar, Volley, uh, or Borley, I guess. Um, I appreciate it. Yes, of course. The pleasure is mine, I guess. Yeah. Just watch me and my power, I guess. <laughs> okay. Alright, don't uh, loosen your guard, all th um, the three of you. Uh, it seems like the enemy is approaching us. Okay. We're jumping into it? Alright, awesome! Let's take a look at our um, friends, of course, our, our other units. We've got Oscar. He, uh, okay. He's an Earth attribute. He has the Iron Lance and a Vulnery. Okay. And C in, uh, in... What is it again? Lances. Oh, actually, hold on. I want to take a look at his stats. Uh, okay. Six strength, six skill, seven speed. Rather decent. Uh, where's his constitution? Oh, it's up there. Wait. There's no way his constitution is 33, is it? Is it actually? Is it actually 33? Maybe it's like a different numbering system, but maybe his constitution is 33. Which means... Oh, your constitution's 31. You have the Steel Axe and the Iron Axe and the Volnery. Um, insane stats as per usual. You know, I will mention one thing, and that's the fact that I saw this character on the front cover, and she was on a horse, but I completely thought that she was a Pegasus Knight, so I'm very glad that she's a Paladin <laughs> instead. Very glad about that. Um, 14 speed, 11 luck, 11 defense. Cool, cool, cool. I guess, yeah, I guess the constitution's a little bit different in this. Unless maybe, is it the build? Maybe it's build. Uh, hold on. Is it this, maybe? Um, yeah, oh no, this is heavy. Yeah, this is like weight, isn't it? Yeah, it's like this is the sort of um, estimation of the weight. But then what's this then? What's up here? Oh wait, it's to do with tackling. So maybe that's different. Maybe the constitution's down here. Constitution 8? But then what about assist and stuff? How does rescuing work in this game? I don't know. Someone's gonna have to mention that. Oh, I'm gonna have to try it a couple things. Um, yeah, because you have nine. Okay, uh, actually, yeah, your constitution and your, like, down here is the same as the one in the top corner. So maybe it's to do with, like, the horses as well? So maybe you're, yeah, you've got ten constitution. I see. Let's take a look at Borley. He's got ten constitution. I wonder what capacity is, actually. Oh, okay. So his biorhythm is gonna be two times more than normal. What is, what... In English, please? Or, or in Japanese, please? What is biorhythm? I... Oh, okay, the higher it is, the better, the, the lower it is, the sadder you are. Maybe there's like a emotion system? Where if you're happier, then you can get crits easier or something? But anyways, okay, 7 strength, 4 skills, 6 speed, 4 luck, 5 defense, 0 resistance. Level 2. Uh, I guess we did take a look at him last time. Alright, uh, danger zones. I do wonder, we could probably can't do the danger zone thing where... Okay, so L's zoom out, uh, out. How do I zoom back in? Oh, I see. There we go. Um, no, we can't actually do the uh, entire... Da oh, you can keep them on? That's amazing. I didn't... That is amazing. Hold on, how do I turn it off? I, I can't turn it off. Oh, you press B. Oh my god, that is amazing. I, I dig that a lot. Um, okay, sorry. Again, I'm going to have to... Wait, what's the status button again? I keep thinking it's R, but no, it's the Y button. I see. It's the bandit. D rank in axes. Starts on looking too too bad. What are you? What are you? You're the. You're like the. I guess you're the. Ba this is really weird because 
He's called the bandit in katakana, which means it's the English word for bandit. And then he's called the bandit in Japanese. <laughs> so like, I guess he's, this one's the brigand, I suppose, which makes sense. Okay, sorry, I'm goofing around quite a bit. It's gonna happen um, early on in this game. So I do apologize if that's not what you're into, if you're more into, hold on. Um, yeah, okay, so he's doing more, but we are doing nine times two. We're not finishing him off though. He's getting hit back by six. I'm sure that's fine. All right. Let's see what you got, Oscar. Give it to me. Okay. So far, I don't know who I like and who I dislike, but, um... I'm liking the character. There, there's no one I dislike so far, so, you know, that's a good start, right? Okay. Cool. Yeah, I know that. Oh, and you can counter after attack. Um... I guess we'll move out of the way so that someone else can, uh, tear out or whatever. Can go in there. Can Ike reach? Yes, he can. I could actually give that kill to him, maybe. Let's take a look. Um... 9 10 Yep. Go for it. Okay. Let's go for it. Also, he's gonna have ether, isn't it? Um, isn't he? Or like Tenku, you know? Which is a skill in Awakening, but I'm guessing that's also a skill in this game. Uh, which is, you know, his up B in Smash Brothers Brawl, <laughs> of course. It's really nostalgic talking about Smash Brothers. I, I actually haven't played that in a very, very long time. Um, Ball is doing 12, he's getting hit back by 8. Now, considering that the Brigand uh, is also here, I'm also in the danger zone of this guy, so I, I do want uh, Tiamat to, to go up that way, I think. So let's block off with uh, Bole. I could also put her here, which means she'll- Oh my god, the sound effects are so good in this. Like, it sounds so real, like the, the horseback and stuff. Just like, I think it's just the, the, little, the little things that they couldn't do in the Game Boy. They really tried, um, you know, incorporating all these ideas, making it feel like even more real. And, uh, 1 EXP. Alright, that's fine, though. Um, we'll keep you here so that Ike is, I'm guessing, out of the danger zone now. Yep, fantastic. I don't know how fragile Ike is, I have no idea, but... He is the, uh, the main protagonist, after all, so he might not be as strong. Can we... Oh, wait, hold on, is this a visitable? This might be a visitable one, because it looks like the door's kind of open. We can test it out next time. Um, it might be, like, an information house or something. Because, like, the one on the left there is clearly, um... That one's clearly, what do you call it, like a door that's closed off, so... Anyways, we'll go for Bole. Alright. He's the axe unit, I guess. I guess they're the same unit, so... He must be like the warrior class or something. I really do like these models, though. They're very, very cool. Very nice stuff. Okay, the boss. Alright. Oh, what is it? It's some sort of army attacking us? Yeah. Now it's the mercenary group that, uh... uh the arrogant mercenary group that, um have been hired from, uh, you know, to save these villagers, it seems like. Alright, then, you guys, uh, yeah, go deal as much damage as you can, you know. Beat him down so hard that they would never, uh, retaliate against us again. Okay, if you say so, mate. Alright, no, oh, even he has a sprite. <laughs> Alright, ah, uh, darn village, uh, villagers, I guess. And they're trying to hire up mercenaries to get rid of us. Um, we're not gonna make that happen. Uh, I'm gonna destroy their houses, um, to, 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 to show them that, I guess, I don't know. Okay, so I guess there is, uh, destroyable houses. So that one down in the right must be one we can visit. Okay. We'll do that next time. Okay, Bole is getting hit by a bit, but, uh, he should be okay. He should be fine. Cool. Nice. Let's take a look if you level up. Okay. It's fine. Awesome. And, uh, you're coming by- Oh, okay. I guess I guess the lowest defense. He should be- he might be okay. We'll have to see. Okay. Yep. And, uh, yeah, he's fine. Cool. Might be able to give, even give that to him, uh, as a kill next turn. Of course, because, uh, Tiamat there is blocking the path, uh, things are a lot easier for us, as in, uh, Ike's not gonna be in immediate danger. Nice! Even the doubling's, like, really quick, right? I feel like the battles are actually really quick, so which is really nice. Okay, <laughs> he's doing his fun, funky little waddle there. Alright, Oscar should be okay. There's quite a lot of enemies for, uh, a first stage, I must admit. Nice dodge, and uh, I kind of want to turn off Rumble. That is one thing <laughs> that has been bothering me um, every single time the unit gets attacked. The GameCube controller rumbles. Can I do that here, I wonder? Um, can't kill, maybe? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, um, uh, 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 let's turn the game speed and message speed up to uh, quickly. Oh, I'm going to increase the grid a little bit so we can see better. Um, okay, what else is there? Oh wait, it says all the stuff there. I see, I see. Um, 
Uh, I see, yeah, that's fine. Auto, auto cursor. Uh, I... Hmm, we might do support grinding. I don't know if, if the support system works the same way. Um, I'll turn auto uh, cursor off, though. And stereo, yep, that's fine. BGM, yep. Oh, okay, no window options. I'm very surprised. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and turn off rumble. That was the one thing I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. I really do dislike rumble. I don't know if that's the general consensus or not, but I really dislike it. So, what is the... Uh, well, we should probably go back with Tiamat here. Uh, it looks like the door is open there. It, can this guy destroy this village next turn? He can. I might have to seize, or I might have to visit. Um... I might have to, in that case. We can wait for this one for next turn. If all three of these guys can get a kill each, you don't have a throwing axe. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. You're not gonna- Ike's not gonna finish uh, that guy off. He's got ten left. You have six, okay. And you have seven, so... Uh, keeping in mind, you're not gonna move because you're the... Is his name Thalza? <laughs> Isn't that- Oh, no, it wasn't. I thought it was. That was like a fist of the North Star character. Zawana, I guess. Okay. Um, okay, no, but Ike won't be in danger if I do place him here. So what I might do is... I'll get... Well, Oscar has to go for the first attack here, so let's get that going. Um, oh, this diagonal's weird. I mean, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, yeah. But it just it kind of feels weird because we haven't been playing with like a thumbstick up until this point, so you know, you know how it is. All right, Oscar, you you defeat that guy. Yeah, cool. And now, um, oh, I can actually move you out the way, which is not going to be bad. I might actually do that. I'll move you there. And now we'll get... Hopefully Bole Bol can actually attack the... or finish off the other guy. You are doubling. Okay, cool. Let's just get that going. Um, I'll train up Ike. It would be nice to have a really strong Ike, you know? And like they say, I mean, I had a ton of fun with a strong Roy last time. Or not last time, but when we played Binding Blade, so... Level up, let's take a look. Level 3. Okay. F six ping, I will take it. Incredible, okay. Again, it is kind of interesting that they split up uh, magic and uh, strength, but... Bole, can you finish him off? You can if you hit. Let's see if Path of Radiance hit rates are good or not. Or if it's going to be a binding bl- Okay. I might have to go back and... Because... Bole's going to die if he gets hit again. I mean, I'm not particularly attached to him, don't get me wrong, but hey, it is the first stage. Should I just give this village up? I think it's fine to give this village up for now. Like, what good items could they even give anyways, right? So, I'm just gonna... I, I will just go for this. Oh, yeah, just to be on the safe side. Uh, Tiamat, you can finish this girl. Um, that's fine if the villagers get raided next turn. Um, we can still get the one in the right... Actually, we might be able to block him off. Oh my god, that was quick, I guess, because I had the ga game speed up quickly. Still, yeah, no, I think it's better if I have game speed up. Okay. Great. And then she's capable, you know. Are you a windsword? Because you're very capable of- That's a critical- Oh my god, the, did you see that cut? Like, the, the camera angle? That was so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like, I'm genuinely just like, you know, reacting to everything that's happening on the screen, because is this so cool? It's a 3D Fire Emblem game from back in the day that I haven't played. You know, not not undermining the 2D pixel stuff, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, um, you know, after playing three GBA Fire Emblems, I kind of needed a bit of a change, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it had an absolute blast, don't get me wrong, but yeah, anyways, okay. Well, Bole is not... Uh, Alright, no, we actually need to heal him up. Um, maybe Tiamat can reach, she can, okay. I might get Bolly down to this house then. Sorry, that was one off the... There we go, okay. Let's close off the house, uh, the village. Oh, it's the, the mercenaries, uh, to think you'd finally arrived, okay. We heard, um, you know, we've, we've already heard what, what you guys are here for. Here, please take this weapon. We can't use it, but I'm sure it will, uh, come in handy for you guys. Okay. We got the steel sword. Interesting. Great. Alright, cool. Uh, I might actually mistranslate weapon names as well at some point. Um, if that does happen, I do sincerely apologize. Because um, sometimes, you know, localizations are a bit different, so... Alright, well in that case, I think... The thing is, um, the boss is not gonna move. I mean, this guy's gonna move. He has a silver sword. Or an iron sword, I should say. Um, so... Oscar... 
He's getting hit by seven. If he gets hit twice, he'll die. Uh, we kind of do need some healing going on. It might have to be Tiamat, I think. Bit unfortunate. I didn't want to use her too much because I do want EXP going around everyone, but everyone is a bit weak right now, so it's okay. Let's go for it. Okay. She does kind of remind me of, like, the Great Lord, like, Dusel and all that. From uh, Sacred Stones, of course. But anyways. Cool. Awesome. Alright. Apologies. Uh, interruption. Um, <laughs> but we are back here. Um, what was I doing? I attacked and I was gonna counter, um... Saido. Okay. <laughs> Second movement, I see. Uh, okay, well in that case, I will get the village with Oscar, unless I can reach. Oh, you can reach. Oh, okay, he can move much more than I expected. Yep, alright, you can close off the village. Oh, Rebecca? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> um, okay. Um, ever since the bandits have arrived, I haven't been, I uh, haven't had a, you know, a, a well-rested sleep. Okay. Please, please bring back the peace in this village. This is my mother's keepsake. Really? You're gonna give me that? I hope this comes in handy, but... Is it a equip item? It is, it's an angelic robe. Should we give that to Ike? I almost feel like that's a good idea. I might do that, actually. Um, I wonder if you like around here. And yeah, let's heal up. So far, I have a gut feeling that this is going to be one of my favorite Fire Emblem games by the time we finish this game. Just a gut feeling. I Maybe I'm going to hate it. You never know. But this I, this feels special. This really feels special. Um, so far, of the three Fire Emblem games I've played, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but um, Blazing Blades, my favorite, and then Sacred Stones is the second, and then Binding Blades, a uh, dead bottom. So... <laughs> That's kind of my rankings. We'll have to see where Path of Radiance falls into that, but... Okay, and he's not gonna move, obviously, because he's the, the, um, the boss, of course. I'm gonna use the Angelic Rope. Let's... Also, interestingly, there's a equipment segment and an item segment, so maybe you can carry more than usual compared to, you know, the GBA stuff. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Is that seven up? Oh, actually, I didn't know how much that increased by. So that was a bit, um, a bit of a shame on my end. I probably should have paid attention to how much uh, HP he started with, but that's okay. Alright, and, uh, Tiamat, of course, I'll get... I wonder how much Oscar's doing with these slants. He's doing seven, he's getting hit back by seven. Three, uh, okay, wait, is that the only item you have? Or do you have something else? Oh, you've only got the Iron Axe. Um, I know Tiamat's probably gonna be able to, like, one-shot him or something. But I do want some EXP to be give, uh, given. I don't know. Um, uh, who are you? Are you gonna fight with me? <laughs> All right, then I'll be your uh, I'll be your yeah enemy. I don't know. I'll take you on, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Nice. If you're wondering, uh, if you're new here, um, I am technically a professional translator. I say that. I, I'm I'm overselling myself. I'm sorry. Like I've worked on games that have released, but. I'm still starting off, you know, <laughs> uh, it's only been about two years, but, yes, um, I do technically industry level work, if you're wondering, um, not to flex or anything, but, uh, what I want to do, actually, is maybe I'll heal up Ike, first of all, and then, okay, the weirdest thing ever, you know that Volunary sound that you just heard, it sounds like when the Omnitrix opens up in Ben 10, <laughs> am I crazy? <laughs> Uh, surely someone agrees with me there. Um, but okay. What's great about Oscar, I've noticed, is I can attack, then I can just counter out, and he doesn't get hit in the next turn, you know? It's cheeky. It's very cheeky. Uh, and then we can see how much Ike does, and then he might be able to get the kill. And then I can just, yeah, jump down here, so... You know, it's very cheeky. Volley, I mean, I don't really have too much I can do with you. Well, um... Oh, okay, no, you've already got a thing as well. I wonder, can Convalias use swords in this? No, they can't. Okay. Interesting. Wait, really? They can't? What weapons can they use? Only lances. Wait, what? You can use lances and axes. You're a paladin. I see. They can't use swords. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna end the turn for now. So that... I mean, he's gonna heal a bit, obviously. Um, but I can take a look at how much Ike is doing, of course. In fact, you have an Iron Lance, so I have an, uh, I have an idea here. If I do this, yep, yeah, I'll just do the, the usual. Sorry, I'm kind of, you know, dragging this out. I know Tiamat could just, like, one-shot this guy. But still, I want to give EXP to my boy. Alright, I'm gonna move you back down one, and then what I can do is then, uh, I can get you down here. And you're doing 8 times 2 so you'll be able to finish him off. So what I can do, uh, is trade over the... The Steel Sword, which might do more damage. And then we can do the Steel Sword 
Ah, uh, I see. It's it's too heavy, so it's not gonna double. All right. Well, in that case, let's just do the um the iron sword. Okay. Oh, he has a special conversation. Oh, young one, are you sure you're ready for battle? I could say the same thing about you. If you want to run, now's your opportunity. <laughs> you say some funny things. All right. Nice, nice. Bang. Okay. Oh, the animations are so cool. All right. Gugua for for me to die at a place like this. All right then, <laughs> buddy boy. I guess I just fade into the light in this world. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Cool. Cool stuff. We got the iron uh, axe. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, I could give it to my friend over here, I suppose. We got Bole. Should we, um, tackle? I can tackle him? Is he gonna, hmm, lose HP? I'm sure it's fine, right? Ah, you can push them out the way. Interesting, okay. That kind of changes things. I was gonna ask, should I be doing support grinding in this? Hmm. Um, one second, the Fire Emblem Master has spoken, I talked to Fellow. um, but basically he was saying that this game doesn't have support grinding on maps, but it's based on if you deploy them or not, and they get like a set amount of number of points or whatever. So okay, I guess we don't have to do any of that then. Well, that, that makes my life a lot easier, so thank you Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, I already like you. Alright, let's see. Yep, we're gonna clear them up. I wonder whose hand that is. I wonder if that comes into play, like the metal hand that's the cursor. Well, it seems like we're done here. Ike, are you okay? Yeah, I'm completely fine. Wow, that was a surprise. I didn't know that you'd uh, all grown up like this. Well, compared to my father, I'm n nobody though. Well, that's to be expected. I mean, after all, um, Chief Grail is... Hmm? Well, what's wrong with my dad? Well, <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Well, now I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Well, one day you'll find out. Hmm. He might be like, I don't know, maybe he has some sort of gifted legendary warrior or something? Yo, Ike, you were pretty good out there for your first battle. Though I shined way more on my first deployment. Yeah, you definitely shined. You were, um, you were so obnoxious that you even broke some of my weapons. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. I didn't if sorry, I didn't make the connection. They're brothers. They don't even look similar, because, you know, the guy in the back looks like, I don't know, like Seth, I guess, and then uh, Bole looks like Ross here, so I didn't... But yeah, they do have green hair, of course, yeah. Ah, oh, big bro, you shouldn't say stuff like that, or you shouldn't, you know, tell him about stuff like that. Anyways, Ike, I'm glad that your first mission went well. Uh, I'm glad to have you on the, on the team. Well, everyone's fine. Alright, then let's return home. I heard that Mist and the others have made a great um, feast for us, when, and, and, and they're waiting. Okay. Great! I like this! I like this mercenary squad! Okay! Well, I think I'm gonna end the first episode off here. Hopefully you'll enjoy this just as much as I did. I am having an absolute blast with this game, and I cannot wait to continue onwards. This is gonna be spe- I think this is something special. I think this is gonna resonate to me quite a lot. Um, you know, I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, we as Fire Emblem fans, we have some games that we might not resonate as much. Other games where we do resonate a lot, but already I, I feel like there's something special with this one. Um, but anyhow, let me know down below what uh, you think about, well, the, the few chapters that we played here, and uh, if you have any tips and tricks, leave them down below. For the time being, I'm going to end things off here, so hopefully I'll see you guys next time with some more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.